Great, lost in the middle of nowhere. Jason, a man in his early 30s, drives down a lonely road with the wind howling outside. Frustration is evident on his face as he checks his phone GPS and realizes he's taken a wrong turn. He sighs and continues driving, the headlights barely cutting through the thick fog that's beginning to roll in. The radio buzzes with static and he turns it off. Whoa! Suddenly, a figure appears in the road ahead. A woman, pale and disheveled, waving for help. Jason slams on the brakes, his car screeching to a halt. The woman approaches the driver's side window, soaking wet, shivering, and looking desperate. Please, I need help, I'm stranded. Jason hesitates for a moment but unlocks the passenger door. Alright, get in, where are you heading? The woman gets in without saying another word. Her hands tremble as she pulls the seatbelt over her body. Jason drives off, sneaking glances at her. The atmosphere in the car feels heavy and uncomfortable. So, where were you going? Go home. Her voice is barely a whisper. Jason looks puzzled but shrugs it off. Well, I'll take you to the next town. Shouldn't be far from here. They drive in silence. Jason can't shake the feeling that something is off. The woman stares straight ahead, not moving, her breathing almost imperceptible. Jason turns the radio back on to break the tension. The same static fills the car, but within it, faint whispers can be heard. He quickly turns it off, his unease growing. You all right? You're, uh, really quiet. The woman doesn't respond. Jason grips the steering wheel tighter, his knuckles turning white. Are you from around here? I lived here once. Jason glances at her again, unnerved. Her hands are now gripping the seatbelt tightly, knuckles pale as if holding on for dear life. A drop of water falls from her hand onto the seat. Suddenly the car's headlights flicker. Jason slams on the brakes and the car stops in the middle of the road. What now? He checks the dashboard but can't figure out what's wrong. The woman remains eerily still. I'll check under the hood. Jason steps out into the cold night. He pops the hood and inspects the engine. As he fumbles with the wires, his breath fogging in the air, he hears a faint voice. Lo, you shouldn't have stopped. Jason freezes. He looks back at the car. Through the windshield, the woman is staring straight at him, her eyes wide, filled with something dark and unnatural. Suddenly, the engine roars back to life on its own. Startled, Jason slams the hood down and hurries back to the car. He jumps into the driver's seat and slams the door shut. Trying to stay calm. All right, we're good. Let's get you out of here. As they drive, the air inside the car grows colder despite the heater being on full blast. Jason can see his breath now. He glances at the woman, her clothes are completely dry. The water that had dripped onto the seat earlier has vanished. His heart races. Something's wrong. Nervously, who, who are you? The woman slowly turns her head to face him, her eyes dark and hollow. Her lips curl into a chilling smile. No, I never left. Jason's grip on the wheel tightens as panic sets in. The fog outside thickens and the road seems to stretch endlessly. It's as if they're not moving forward at all. He slams on the brakes, but the car doesn't stop. It keeps driving on its own. Panicking. What the hell is happening? The woman's voice grows louder, echoing in the small space of the car. You can't escape. You took the wrong road. The fog outside the car turns black, swirling around them like a living entity. Jason yanks the wheel, but nothing happens. The woman leans closer, her breath cold on his neck. Whispers. You'll never leave. Suddenly, Jason looks into the rearview mirror. There's another figure in the back seat, a shadowy shape with glowing eyes. He screams, but the sound is drowned by the deafening roar of the engine. The car plunges into the darkness. The car is found the next morning, abandoned in the middle of the road. The driver's seat is empty, and Jason is nowhere to be found. Only one thing is left behind, his phone, still open to the GPS, showing a destination that doesn't exist. The end. Hey there everyone, welcome back to our channel. We've got an exciting video lined up for you today, so stick around. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on new content. Got something to add or just want to say hi? Drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you know someone who'd enjoy this video, go ahead and share it with them. Spread the love. Thanks for being part of the community, and I'll see you in the next video.